Hi guys, welcome to the first lecture of uh, statistical mechanics. In this class, I'll be talking about uh, some basic terminologies in statistical mechanics. Okay, first of all, we can uh, discuss what is statistical mechanics. Statistical mechanics explains So statistical mechanics explains physical properties of matter in bulk based on the dynamics of microscopic constants. So one can derive all the thermodynamics using statistical mechanics based on the uh, motion or uh, based on the statistics of the microscopic constants. Okay, now let us consider uh, a system, a thermodynamic system. So, in all these, in all our discussions, we are talking about uh, systems in equilibrium. Okay, equilibrium systems. Okay, most of the systems are non-equilibrium. We can take uh, the simpler, simplest case. So, all the systems we are talking about are uh, equilibrium systems. Okay, so first of all, we can consider a system containing a large number of particles large number of particles there are n number of particles and uh, v is the volume n is very large for normal systems for uh, ordinary systems n is of the order of uh, 10 raised to 23 number of particles this 10 raised to 23 is uh, just Avogadro number uh, one mole of system contains Avogadro number of particles. So we can consider such a system where there are a large n number of particles and V is the volume of, compared to the volume of an atom, the volume of a system is very large. Okay. So we and uh, we can think of uh, n tends to infinity and uh, V tends to infinity. Okay. Because n is very large and V also very large compared to the volume of a molecule or atom. This is the thermodynamic limit. In this limit, uh, there are extensive properties. There are quantities which depend on uh, the size of the system. Okay, For example, entropy. Entropy of the system increases as the size of the or volume of the system increases. These kinds of uh, properties are called uh, extensive properties or extensive quantities. Okay, uh, and there are intensive quantities as well. Intensive properties. Okay, so the properties do not depend on the size of the system. Okay, for example. Um, temperature, density, um, and uh, number density. These do not depend on size of the system. Whereas entropy, uh, internal energy, these quantities depend on the size of the system. As the volume of the system increases, the extensive properties also increases. Now we consider the total energy of the system. If the system contains a large number of particles uh, and all these particles are non-interacting particles, okay, in a system the particles are non-interacting, two particles are not interacting, that means the potential energy between the two particles is zero. The total energy E is equal to sum of all the energies of individual particles, okay of energies of individual particles that is EI summation EI where I is equal to 1 to n okay generally if there are uh, uh, some number of particles in each energy levels then we can write we can rewrite this equation as this is equal to summation total energy E is equal to summation NI EI okay so here uh, these n number of particles are arranged in 
number of levels, number of energy levels, there are n i number of particles in ith level. Okay, ith level, there are n i number of particles and the energy is e i. Okay, so this is the first level, there are n 1 number of particles, here e 1 is the energy. So like that, uh, there are a large number of levels and each level there are uh, corresponding number of particles. So, the total energy can be written like this. Okay. And total number of particles then, if we add all these uh, n1s or n, n1, n2, n3, then we will get the total number of particles. So, n is equal to summation ni. The specification of the uh, total number of particles, total volume V and uh, total energy E defines the state of a system or macro state of the system. Therefore, a macro state of a system uh, can be defined by specifying the quantities in uh, total volume V, total energy E. Okay. For example, in a system there are uh, large number of particles. For example, there are 10 raised to 22 number of particles and the volume of the um, system is um, 100 centimeter cube uh, and the total energy is this much joule, okay, Some, uh, this much joule or, or electron volt of energy is there, okay. So if we specify these quantities, what we are doing is we are specifying a macro sheet of system. Okay, and uh, we take out some uh, number of particles from the system, then we are defining another macro state of the system. So, a macro state of the given system is uh, defined by specifying the number of, uh, sorry, the value of the number of particles n and uh, volume v and in a total energy e. So this defines macro state or macroscopic state of the given system any one of if the number of particle changes then it will or it, the volume changes then that corresponds to another macro state of the system but at the molecular level there exists a large number of possibilities that means there exists a large number of ways in which this macro state uh, nve is realized okay so, this macro state is realized in large number of uh, different ways, okay. Each of these different ways is called a micro state, okay. That means the total energy E can be achieved in different large number of ways. That means the equation E is equal to sum over I, N, I, E, I. So this equation can be uh, this this is possible by distributing the individual energy among n number of particles in large number of uh, different ways. Okay, so each of these uh, distribution is called a microstate. Okay, so corresponding to a particular microstate, there there exist large number of microstate. That is, for one microstate, there exist large number of microstates. Okay, so what we have seen is the there will be large number of different ways in which the total energy E of the system can be distributed among n number of particles constituting the system. So each of these ways is called a, a microstate. So we can write like this. And when there are no constraints, uh, the system is equally likely to be in any one of these microstates. Okay, so this is termed as postulate of postulate of equal a priori probabilities. Okay, so all of these microstates are equally probable for the given system. 
at any time t uh, the system will be in any one of these micro state okay so when we see at a given instant of time when we see a system it will be in any one of these large number of micro states okay at the uh, very next moment it can change from one micro state to another Okay. Each microstate is nothing but uh, the uh, solution of the Schrodinger equation. Okay. So there are uh, n number of particles. Uh, the solution of Schrodinger equation is called a wave function. So this is wave function of n particle system. That is, um, its coordinate r1, r2, r3 are the uh, position vectors up to r and n particle okay so it will be a solution of schrodinger equation that is h psi is equal to e psi okay so there are large number of solutions for this uh, schrodinger equation of the given system uh, corresponding to a macro state and uh, each of these solutions is associated with the, a particular micro state here e is the total energy or eigen value of the hamiltonian h So let us uh, denote the total number of microstate as omega, number of microstate as omega of n v e. Okay. So if we find out this number of microstates, uh, we can find out all thermodynamic quantities. So by knowing this number, uh, we can find out all uh, thermodynamic quantities of the system. Okay. Or the functional dependence of this number with n v and e also make uh, make it possible to find out all the thermodynamic quantities so from this number from omega we get we get thermodynamic thermodynamics thermodynamics of the system okay so, so this is the method of uh, statistical mechanics so we know what is omega omega is the number of microstates Okay, for a single macro state, there, 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 are, there are omega number of micro states. Okay, if we know this total number of micro states, we can find out all other thermodynamic quantities like uh, total energy, uh, pressure, uh, entropy, all those things. Okay, our ultimate aim is to get the thermodynamics of the uh, given system. So, we will find out first uh, the, the total number of micro state omega. So, in the next class onwards, we will discuss how this omega is connected with the thermodynamics.